back to Trinity Kids at Home. This week, we are learning about the armor of God and the shoes of peace. But before we begin, stand on your feet. Let's get ready to worship. about the armor of God, but we're not fighting against flesh and blood. Listen to what the Bible says about who the battle is against. Ephesians 6 verse 10 through 12 says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's evil schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers and against the authorities and against the powers of this world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Let's look at a time one of Jesus' friends got confused about who the battle was against and forgot that we fight evil with peace. Jesus knew that he was about to be arrested and killed, so he was praying in a garden, and Jesus' friends were nearby, but they fell asleep. And just as Jesus woke his friends, there was movement in the olive garden. There was a marching sound, and it sounded like a crowd was coming. What were the disciples going to do? They needed a plan, and they needed it quick. So they had a few options. They could keep hiding, or they could run away, or they could fight. Then the crowd started shouting, and one man said, Where's Jesus? We know he's here. Give him to us. We want to arrest him. What in the world was going on here? The dangerous men were getting closer and closer to Jesus. And one of Jesus' friends, Peter, called out, Lord, should we fight them? We brought our swords. Then he struck the high priest's slave with his sword, and he cut off his right ear. At this point, Jesus could have run away. and He could have also joined Peter in fighting. But instead, Jesus walked forward. Jesus walked towards the soldiers. He walked towards the men who wanted to arrest him. And in John 18 verse 11, it says that Jesus commanded Peter and said, put away your sword. Shall I not drink the cup that the Father has given me? Then Jesus touched the man's ear and he healed him. 
When faced with this battle, Peter thought that the battle was against flesh and blood, against the people who had come to arrest Jesus. He thought that he could fight the battle with violence. But Jesus knew that we fight evil with peace. And this was a battle against evil, not against people with swords and torches. This was a battle he'd win by dying on the cross to beat death and sin. So when Jesus stepped through the crowd, he was wearing a different kind of armor. He was wearing the shoes of peace. Ephesians 6.15 says, Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist and with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. It was probably really hard to walk forward in peace and heal his enemy's ear, but Jesus was wearing the shoes of peace with each step that he took. So let's practice stepping forward with the shoes of peace too. The Bible verse that we read says that our peace comes from the good news about Jesus. What do you think that that means? If our peace comes from knowing and sharing the good news about Jesus, let's see what that can look like in our lives. I'm going to read the following scenarios and I want you and your family to think of several ways to show peace for each one of these scenarios. Scenario number one, how can you show peace if someone is making fun of you because you are a Christian? Scenario two, what if someone is making fun of your church? Scenario three, what would you do to show peace if someone says that Jesus isn't real? In scenario four, maybe you see someone bullying another kid at school and you want to show peace. How can you do that? Wow, thanks for coming up with some really great ideas for how we can fight evil with peace. When we wear the shoes of peace, we step away from violence because we are confident in the good news about Jesus Christ. You guys have been doing such a great job learning the New Testament books of the Bible, but I want to hear it. So stand up on your feet and sing along with the New Testament books of the Bible. Corinthians, Galatians, and Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, and now it's 1st Timothy, then it's 2nd Timothy, Titus, and Philemon, and Hebrews, James, and now it's 1st Peter, and then it's 2nd Peter, 1st John, 2nd John, 3rd John, Jude,
the week comes from Ephesians 6, verse 10 through 12. And it says this, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not with flesh and blood, but against the rulers and against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. Ephesians 6, verse 10 through 12. That's a wrap for this week, guys. I hope you guys join me next week on Trinity Kids at Home. I'll see you then.